Oh, hi, everybody. It's Brian. Hey, some people have been asking me why I'm so into bashing advertising and bashing commercials and why I hate them so much. It's not so much that I hate them, it's that I know what the advertisers are trying to do and how they're really subverting you and insulting your intelligence. As a longtime professional in marketing, advertising, public relations, I know what kind of messages people are going to put out. They're going to put out a message that may not be entirely true. Now, that's not all a bad thing. I mean, you wanna control your messaging, you want to tell the truth, and you wanna put the information out there for everyone to understand easily. But sometimes companies take a very awful route to telling the truth. And by that, I mean they don't tell the truth at all. And there's also certain production aspects. I'm not going to pick on somebody who has a low budget and can't make a better commercial, but sometimes when a big company makes a commercial that's just so strange or so stupid, I feel like I have to comment on it. But mostly I'm looking at messaging. I'm looking at why they think certain messages will sell a product or service and what they think the audience is looking for or what they think the audience is thinking. And that's where the sort of insulting part can come in. Again, that's not at all to say that I don't like any commercials. There's actually a lot of advertising I really do like. For example, there are a lot of movie trailers that I think are really cool. Now, when I was a kid, one of the coolest trailers I had ever seen, one of the most exciting things was this awesome piece of work. Long skull was equipped with powerful jaws in which were set sharp, doubly serrated teeth. Weighing more than four metric tons and averaging 19 feet in height, this creature was believed to be one of the largest predators who ever lived. You know, looking back, it's completely ridiculous that as the ground shakes and the foundations of the museum are shaking, people just sort of shrug it off like, oh, well, no, not a big deal. We'll just keep going. Awesome. Now that's a friggin' trailer. Man, I was so excited for that. That was back whenever it said, from the creators of Independence Day, you were like, oh wow, this is gonna be awesome then. And they even used the correct Godzilla roar, which they would actually not use in the movie. But hey, it's a teaser trailer, right? And then there was also the 2014 Gentlemen, teaser. Being sent in by a halo jump. Now I realize not all of you have had hands-on experience. And frankly, none of us have ever faced a situation quite like this one before. not be asking any one of you to take this leap if I did not have complete faith in your ability to succeed. Your courage will never be more needed than it is today. So intense. What are they getting into? Is it a war? Love the point of view. The human costs are so great!
That's a trailer, man. That gets me pumped up. Now granted, neither of those movies was as good as the trailer would have suggested. The 2014 one being better than the 1998 one for sure. And frankly, there have been lots of awesome, funny commercials out there. Budweiser frogs, meh. But then there were the bad commercials and there were the commercials that pushed me over the edge to where I just had to say something. And there was one commercial in particular that just set me off. So first you have to look at the 21 convention, which is like, you should be a man. Now, what is a man? Well, let's find out. Let's look at some highlights. Ugh. Legendary speakers. Life changing should be hyphenated. I, this is the first time I've ever seen this and it's already terrible. Welcome to the 21 convention 2019 in Orlando, Florida. 2019. Right through. From my experience, the 21 convention is a coming of the minds. I love this guy who has the one sock that's rolled down. <laughs> various wide ranges of topics, be it health and wellness, fitness, dating, relationships, even finance and entrepreneurship. And I find that really valuable and important. I think we're suffering from a lack of father in it. Drawing conclusions based off of information that goes against manhood. What the hell does that even mean? Uh, either fathers aren't there, or if they're there, they're weak. I was blessed to have a strong father. I didn't understand the power of having a strong father until I was much older. I definitely recommend going to it. You're interacting with a whole bunch of great people. You get to interact with the speakers. I look forward to walking away from this event with tools, strategies, and steps for me to take going forward on how I can improve my own life, be it in fitness or with starting up my own business. Sorry. Talking to a lot of guys, I would see guys and I'm like, so what did you think? They go, Best sex ever, texasdom.com. Is his name Dom or is he a Dom? How in the world does this guy know what the best sex ever is? What the heck are these people even talking about? They just keep saying, oh, I have all these tools and whatnot to do stuff, to be a, a me and a man. Dude, if you're a man, you're just a man. You don't need tools to do it. You already are one. It was awesome. And it was so positive. Like you talked about hope, optimism, positivity. Yeah. That was this event. Mm. Gotta be strong. To be a strong man uh, is inside and out. And one of the speakers this weekend said so poetically and beautifully that if you're, if you're not strong, you're weak. Wow. If you're not strong, you're weak. Thank you, Ricky Bobby. Now, all these legendary speakers that I've never heard of and they didn't even bother listing the names of because they're complete nobodies. Thank you, 21 Convention. That really taught me how to be a man. But don't stop with just making men great. Make women great again, too. Yeah, because you need guys to tell you what to do, ladies. It's just the same guys telling me how to be a man. Mm. That's great. Same guys. It's $1,000 a head, too. That's money well spent. What do these guys even know? Let's check out Stefan Molyneux. So by giving women all of this power, we're taking away the qualities of character that they could develop in the absence of that power. <clears throat> it's like a kid, well, it's almost literally like a kid. What is it? Some kid just became a billionaire at the age of 14 or 15 because his parents just gave him over a billion dollars. You think he's gonna be working fast food anytime soon? No because now he's got the resources, so why would he work that? That's why it's, you know, rags to riches to rags, and three shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves, three generations, right? First generation works like crazy, second generation works less, third generation blows it all. Yeah, because wealth is never transferred through families. They just lose it all by the third generation every single time. And if women have all of this value because of hormones and makeup and sexual manipulation and so on, we're robbing them of quality, of character which we need, because as you know, trust between the genders, trust between the sexes, is kind of catastrophically low at the moment. And that's because women, they have the I can't take any more of this crap. We know that trust between the sexes is catastrophically low. Based on what? He's just making stuff up. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Advertising for this kind of stuff. 
and my mind rejected that the 21 convention and the 22 convention are actually real and not just trolling. To this day, I think it must still be a joke, just like a really high profile, high level joke, right? All right, I don't know if I can ever do this again. It's just too much stress to my brain, but I must persevere. If there are any other truly terrible ads out there, leave me a comment and tell me what I should look at. I'm gonna go shave my beard, I'll see you later. They did this, like their mind was blown kind of thing. And I thought, wow.